All right, Aries. Last but not least, let's see. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Aries. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So Aries. This is going to be a reading for the person that you're thinking of or the person who has you on their mind. Let's see what the messages are for Aries and either the person. Keep in mind, energy can be reversed, so flip it, switch it according to your situation. But this is intended to be for whoever's thinking of you, Aries. What are the messages? What are the messages for whoever has Aries on their mind? Let's see what those messages are. Okay, what do you see in me? So whoever this is that's thinking of you, Aries, may be wondering, what do you see in me? Okay, I can't do this right now. I wanted to show itself. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading spirit. You already know how we roll. All right, how could you ever forgive the mess that I've made? Taurus got this as well, or whoever was thinking about Taurus. So some of them have Aries Taurus placements. <sighs> Take a breath. All right, so let's see. What else are the messages, please, for Aries? These cards are slippery also. All right, the way I, the way I have treated you was wrong. I think Taurus got that one too. So someone here knows that they've treated you wrong. Okay, they're wondering how could you ever forgive the mess I've made? What do you even see in me? Okay, so someone here is having a lot of doubts because of whatever they did. All right, what else for Aries? Um, you were right. So Aries, if you were wondering something, you were right about this, or this is what this person would say to you. You were right, Aries. Okay. Life without you is hopeless and dark and depressing. I miss your light. So someone here misses your light, Aries. They feel like life is dark, hopeless, and depresses, depressing without you. Okay. All right. You got, you are too nice and I don't deserve your kindness. Someone here feels like you're too nice and that they do not deserve your kindness. Okay. What else? You may have told this person something and they could have denied it and they're wanting to tell you that you were right. Okay. The passion is too much. I kid you not. Like this has been coming out for all the signs. I don't know if it did for Taurus, but um, yeah, I feel lonely. This def this person is definitely feeling lonely without you. Okay. They have a strong desire for you as well. But the passion is too much. What else? For Aries, we got, is it over? Someone's wondering if it's over. Okay, we got, I want out. So I don't know, I you were right, I want out. Mm, I don't know. Someone here may want out of a situation or someone's wondering if it's over. I wish I could understand you. This has been coming out for a lot of signs as well. So. Um, I feel like people is, you know, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with like, and, <laughs> okay, don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. So you may have told this person, like, why do you treat me like this? Because it's, it's fallen below you are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness and don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. So someone here, I'm scared of rejection. I'm obsessed with you. Um, all right, Aries. So you may have told this person, like, stop treating me however you're treating me. I don't deserve it. And they're wanting to tell you you were right. You don't deserve it. I don't deserve you. Okay. This is interesting. I'm getting like a, a different energy from you guys. All right, so let's see. What else are the messages, please? Oh, someone here could have had a secret third party. You got secrets. I haven't told you everything. And third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. Okay, so there could have been some type of secrets. The third party could be a job, a friend, a lover, a whatever it may be. Um, there's just something here that someone hasn't completely told you everything about. They haven't 
and completely honest with you. There was something else that came in the way of this. Um, unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way that I planned. Okay, so someone here may have expected something to go one way and it didn't happen that way. Um, you got reunion. We'll, we will always come back to each other. Tell me more. I feel like this person misses you. They feel like they're in a dark place or they feel like without you, you know, life is depressing. It's dark. You got the chaser here. I don't want to chase anymore. Um, so I'm strongly feeling that with this reunion card. We will always come back to each other. I don't know if this is a situation that's been ongoing. You guys fall apart, get back together. Someone's always in and out or something like that. Um, someone here is wondering, is it really over this time? Because someone here might be tired of chasing. Like, I don't want to chase this anymore. I'm almost getting like, I wanted to say it earlier, but I held my tongue. But I, I feel like someone here, there's a cockiness to this of like, we will always come back together, you know? Um, this could even have been, man. Yeah, so someone here, now that I'm looking at it, don't treat me the way that you you do. I don't deserve it. This person may have tried to flip something on you. Like, um, the way I've treated you was wrong. You were too nice and I didn't deserve your kindness. Life without you is depressing, blah, blah, blah. It's like someone here, and I wish I could understand you. It's like this person may be wondering, like, what do you even see in me? Why do you love me? How could you ever forgive the mess that I've made? Like this, I feel like is someone who keeps coming in and out of your life. And this person may have told you like that you were treating them unfair. This is like gaslighting energy. I feel like someone gaslit you. Like they may have tried to act like you were treating them wrong, but you were the one that was right. Like they were treating you wrong and they know it. And they feel like this will always come back together. But it's like there's some type of secret surrounding some type of third party. With this, things didn't go the way I planned, um, and I don't want to chase anymore. This person may have thought that you would come running back to them after something was done, or they tried to gaslight you and making you think that you did something that was wrong, even though that they know that they treated you wrong, and that's not going according to plan. Someone's done chasing this situation, and someone else feels like this situation will just keep coming back together. Okay, reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity and damage we are we are both hurting from this. So this situation is hurting you both, but I feel like someone is reflecting on this and they're gaining some type of clarity about the situation. Whoa. All right. So this is from the Hearts Hidden Secrets. Let's see what other messages we got here and then we'll go and we'll roll some dice and see what signs you may be dealing with. If this reading is resonating with y'all, please be sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of these readings for your guys' signs, I'm trying to do more um, other signs other than just Pisces, even though, you know, yeah, I like picking up, you know, doing different energies. All right, so let's see. What are the messages, please, from the heart's hidden secrets for Aries and the person who's thinking of them or whoever Aries has on their mind? Say so you got finality farewells leave behind enclosure yeah someone here is like you got is it over and then um chaser i don't want to chase anymore somebody's like i feel like someone's actually walking away from this like they're done chasing and someone's like damn is it really over i thought you would come back and that's where that cocky energy comes in obsession infatuation adoration and addiction so y'all two may have felt one addicted to one another there could have been some type of obsession or um, obsession, such a strong word. So it's like there may have been like some something here where you guys always came back to one another. There was always some some type of a pull here um, or an addiction to one another that maybe you guys had. But I feel like someone's like kind of done with this. Um, all right. What else do we got for Aries? Perspective, 
um, better off happiness and clear headspace. So someone's gaining a different perspective, whether that's you or the other person. Someone here is gaining a fresh perspective, um, finding their happiness. Someone here may be feeling like they're better off withdrawing from this situation. Single, lonely, and solitary. You have, I'm so lonely down here. Or, I feel lonely. Um, so someone here may be, you know, emotionally withdrawn or withdrawing from the situation, trying to gain a different perspective, but I feel like it's when the other person, like, so say if someone left you, Aries, it's like you, you gained a new perspective on this situation and you may be deciding to leave this situation alone. This person may be withdrawn from you. You may be withdrawn from them. Someone here may be feeling lonely because you withdrew from them because you have gained a fresh perspective about this situation and you're deciding like I'm done chasing, I'm not chasing this anymore, or the roles are reversed, you know? And someone here is um, feeling lonely. What else do we got for Aries? We've got thinking, missing you, craving, and desiring. So someone here is definitely thinking about you, craving you, desiring you, feeling passion passionately drawn towards you, and that could be that addiction, you know? Memories, reminiscing, dwelling, and bittersweet. So someone here could be reminiscing, thinking about past memories. Um, but I'm wondering if it's too little too late. Someone is definitely feeling someone else's absence. Peace, balance, harmony, and friendship. So either you brought this person some type of peace in their life. I don't know if this was someone you were friends with or what but this is someone who i feel like they're the memories that they have is you know that there was peace you brought this person peace this person may want to apologize ask for your forgiveness or return someone may come back saying i'm sorry keep in mind we are going into mercury or retrograde so um i wouldn't you know make any concrete decisions during retrograde so during the month of december okay well, let's see what signs you could possibly be dealing with for Aries. You got Aquarius, Pisces, and Libra. You got Leo, Gemini, Libra again. So strong Libra. You've got Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn. So maybe a Virgo, Capricorn. You had Taurus, Pisces, Leo, Libra, and Aquarius. And Gemini. Okay, so you could have those signs in your chart. Your person may. Um, yeah, but that's what I got for you. Um, let me know how this reading resonates with you guys. If it gave you some type of clarity, uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up. I feel like someone here is like realizing that they made a mess of this situation. And one per and it's but it's coming from one person being done with this finality and chaser. I'm not chasing this anymore. Someone here has some type of secret surrounding a third party or there was secret surrounding a third party. Someone here is definitely feeling, feeling someone's absence. They're gaining some type of perspective that you may have brought peace into this person's life or vice versa. Um, and they're sitting in the memories dwelling on it. Okay. Things didn't turn out like someone expected. Someone may have expected for this to come back together with this reunion. Someone may have expected for you two to come back together. But like I keep saying, someone here I feel like is done. They're done chasing. Finality and done chasing, yeah. Um, this one, I want out, could have been you. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, this is hurting the both of us with that damage on the bottom of the deck. Okay. I feel like someone gaslit the other one and then expected the other one to come back and someone's like, I'm not coming back. Sorry. All right. Uh, yeah, that's what I got for you, Aries. I hope it helped. Um, until next time, see you in the next one. Peace.